What's up, Internet Land? Zachamus Prime, aka Zachamus Prime, here with another Transformers third party review. And today, the figure reviewing is courtesy of Agabus.com. I bought these from Agabus, and he delivered them to me straight away. And just again, as always, super fast, super awesome service from Agabus. Definitely go there, Agabus.com. I heartily recommend it. And let's go on to the review. I am reviewing the New Age Chimera. This is their reflector figures. And it wants to focus on Agabus, doesn't it? So there's a reflector, and there's a reflector, and there's a reflector, and it is still focusing on Agabus. I'm going to have to just put this over here to the side. And these figures, oh, I'm starting to sound like an old, like a, like a, a, a scratched record. But New Age, I don't know what their deal is. If they have like a secret pact with Satan or something like that. No idea. But like everything they make is really good. Like their Seekers were really good. Their Megatron was really good. Their... Gosh, if they make an Optimus Prime... Well, I, I know they're making an Ultra Magnus that, oh, I'm so excited for. Like, everything I have from them. Their Car Bros, super good. Their, um, their Van Bros, super good. Their, you know, everything that I've got from them has just been super good. I have not gotten any of their larger figures. I know they just recently came out with a, with a Masterpiece scale movie, uh, Soundwave. I haven't picked that up. Ah. Uh, but it looks super good, you know. So just, I'm at the point where just like sign me up for a subscription. Everything that New Age comes out with, send one to my door. New Age, if you're listening to this, I will happily pimp your shit all day long and like seriously talk to me. <laughs> But anyhow, so yes, New Age Chimera, this is the reflector. And damn, these figures look phenomenal. Uh, just absolutely blown away. The paint apps are really great. Um, the colors are really good. He's got some nice gray and purple. The white on the thighs just like really pops. The um, The whole leg is painted purple. But, like, this front panel here is a slightly lighter shade of purple. And that just really just mm, really works out really good. A little bit of silver and red here. This red stripe that goes around the, the arms. It's just perfect. I do kind of wish that maybe the stripe had gone around the outside, too. But, because it goes on the inside. And the back. But not this side. That's weird. I wonder why it does that. Also, I noticed that there's like a little bit of sculpted, like a sculpted panel line around that red. And that red fits inside that sculpted panel line super, super well. But that sculpted line doesn't extend around to that side. I wonder why. I oh, am. Yeah. Whatever. I just. It's just really, really good. I've got the Make Toys one as well. I actually should have transformed them into robot mode in preparation for this review. But I didn't do that. A little like green panel here. So like this whole panel here is painted silver. And then there's like a green panel put on top of it. To make that just be like reflective and really nice. And this one here, of course, he's got a different sculpt here. Some of these, so they share a lot of sculpted parts. Like the arms and the legs are identical on all three of these figures. The chest, uh, torso... You know, that's all different on these ones, but just, I mean, even from the back, like, they've got the backpack, but, like, no more than the, what they're supposed to come with, you know? I don't know, like, I've got the perfect effect ones as well. I should have turned those guys into robot mode in preparation for this. I'm starting to feel like I didn't properly prepare for this review. Of course, my perfect effect ones are all the uh, the toy style ones, so they're not really going to mesh with these ones aesthetically, but 
These guys are just super, super awesome. Here he is from the back. Let me zoom in because each of these guys, oh, geez, that's awful looking. Focus, maybe? Yeah. Each of these guys comes with a unique face sculpt. So this guy has got like more like of a, a stoic, neutral expression. This guy has got like, like a shit-eating grin. And this guy looks like he's angry or maybe constipated. I don't know. So they have different head sculpts. Uh, their their posability on all three of these figures is exactly identical. And so I'm just going to grab one and go over the posability for all of the figures with it. So his head... Oh, wait. I, I didn't finish talking about accessories. So each of these guys comes with a gun. Their guns are separate. The guns are molded on this gray plastic. And the top part above the handle is painted silver. They fit into the hand just like so. Very nice. Very well sculpted. Here's the second one. These actually come on a sprue when you grab them out of the package, but um, they're they're held on there, you know. They're held on there. Actually, you can see the sprue mark right here on the very tip of the barrel. Well, I don't know if you can actually see that, but yeah, see, there's the sprue mark right on the tip of the barrel. And that's just what they're put on with. And so I just twisted them off. I mean, I could have clipped them if I felt like it. And maybe I will go back and trim it up with a knife or something. But currently, it's so tiny. And when they fit on my shelf, they're so tiny. It doesn't even, it doesn't even really matter. So they've all got their guns. And their guns all look good. And they're, you know, painted just in silver. But they're still really good. I like them. Um, for comparison's sake... Here they are with one of the New Age Insecticons. You can see that the Insecticons are still considerably smaller than the Reflector. And here they are with the New Age Megatron. Megatron is considerably larger. So scale-wise, that's, that's about how it was in the show. And just for shits and giggles, here they are with Skywarp. Of course, Skywarp is the same size and mostly the same sculpt as the New Age Starscream. Actually, the only difference really is his face. He's got an alternate. He's got a different face. So let's get into posability. So their heads are on a ball joint. They can look up quite a bit. Uh, look down, not at all. Turn side to side. Their head doesn't go all the way around because all three of them are, re are restricted by the backpack collar thing around here. But, I mean, it's not awful, you know. Shoulders are on ball joint, so they go around freely and go out for the full T-pose because of that cut there. Elbow is a ball joint, so it's got that built-in swivel for the elbow swivel. Just over 90 degrees of bend. That's good. And it's got a transformation joint here that you can move if you really want to, but that's not really so much the uh, posing thing. He's got a waist joint that rotates like so. It's not bad at all. Legs go that far forward. That far back. Goes out for 110% of a Van Dam. Upper thigh swivel. Single joint, no, sorry, double joint at the knee. For a little more than 90 degrees of bend. Foot goes down. There's actually two joints here. You, like, you can point it down at that joint or you can point it down at that joint. But it's the same pointing down. And uh, he's got hella ankle tilt. So you know he's a quality figure. And all in all, he just... it's it, The figure feels really good. It poses well. Um, it just does all sorts of stuff. Just a really, really good sculpt. These figures are great. I love it.
anyhow, let's get their accessories out and we'll get them transformed up. So these two guys basically transform exactly the same. This guy transforms slightly different, but largely the same as well. So I'm going to get to this guy first, and then I'm going to do the other two guys. So to get this guy started up, what you want to do is you want to yank on this chest to pull that straight out. You want to take his, his hands and fold them up to his biceps. And you really want to get one like this. Like when you fold it up, you're keen to go like that or maybe like that. But you really want you really want this this bottom surface here to be square against that bicep. Like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in. And as you fold them in, you'll see that there are two little, like tiny little slots in there. And there are two tiny little tabs, one on this hand and one on this hand. And so they're going to come in and they're going to tab together. See the tab right there. And then you're going to wiggle these around until you seat them in that other tab. Those little slots. There we go. So, so far so good. You want to take this, lift up this green panel here, and then swing this whole thing down into place, and then swing this into place, and that will hide up his head. You want to take these little tabs here and fold them out. And then you're going to come down here, and you're going to pop out this panel, and then fold this back. And as you fold that back, you're going to fold back this foot so that you can get that panel to fit inside the foot like so. And then this little panel is going to fold over on top. So let's do that again. Pull out this panel here, bring it around, slot that panel into the other panel, close that up. And then you're going to take these legs, you're going to tab them together. And then you're going to fold him into a kneeling position like that. And then these tabs are going to both sit flush against the back like so. And that is the center all done. So we're going to come to one of these side guys. And for this one, you're going to flip this up like so. That'll mostly cover his face. You're going to open up his backpack and open up this part halfway. That'll still allow you some clearance because then you're going to take this panel here and flip this around to expose this bit of painted detail here. Then straighten this out all the way. There's a little panel in here that you're going to fold out. And then you just take his arms, do like you did on the first guy, like so. Bring them around just like you did on the first guy. Tab these arms together just like you did on the first guy. Tab those tiny little slot tabs into these tiny little slots just like on the first guy. You're going to open up these little panels here. Fold those panels so that they'll fit flush into the foot. Close that up again. You want that to fit flush into the foot. Tab these together. And then you're going to kneel him down. Plug this up. And then this tab right here is going to fit into that slot on his leg. And that's one half done. And for the last one, this is exactly the same as the first one. Fold these up, fold these in, tab them together, tab these in, boom, like so. Fold out these panels, flush them with the feet, bring that around, 
flush with the feet. Tab the legs together. Oh yeah, bring this out. It, the panel that you fold out is on this side this time. And then this folds out on this side this time. So these backpacks are basically mirrored from each other, but everything else is literally identical. And you're going to put him into his kneeling position, fold these up. This tab goes into that slot right there. And now you have oh, those little tiny tabs came undone. Now you have all three of them in their ready to go together modes. And so you're just going to take this tab and this tab are going to go respectively into this slot and this slot. Like so. And now this one is going to be just the same tab, tab, slot, slot. These go together, and then you're going to kind of pull on this to put that over that dovetail right there. And then you're going to take this accessory here, and you've got these four holes right here and these four pegs on this side, and you're going to plug them in. And there is all three of them together. There they are in their camera mode. Uh, if I had batteries in here, I think this takes one or two LR44s. I'm not sure exactly. You'll click this button here, and this will flash, and it'll make like a camera shutter noise. And But, you know, it didn't seem cool enough that I needed to do that, so I didn't actually get any batteries to put into it. So, But this, this looks really good. This looks... This looks almost as flat, like proportionately speaking, this looks almost the same proportions as the Fans Toys one, I want to say. Uh, the paint job is really nice. You've got that nice red stripe across it, the green background here. Little viewfinder there. Both heads are sticking up. There's no flash accessory, but I mean... If some some enthusiastic person could, you know, build one to clip onto that, like 3D print one. Also, no storage for the guns, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, you know, the way I am about lights and sounds, I would have actually rather had um, this lens part here, like, open up and be a storage for the three of these. I think that would be a better use of that space than, you know, a weird gimmick. So, but yeah, they tab together really nice. They look really good from the front, the side, the back. Really, really good. There is one last accessory that I didn't show. Where did I put it? Here we go. It is a tiny camera. It's got a spot of, it's mostly all painted in silver. And then it's got a spot of green paint. So that looks very reflector-ish. And he's got a little peg hole here. So that, you know, another character like Megatron can pull out his guys. And he can take some freaking pictures. And be super happy about it because he's Megatron. So there they are. They are fantastic. I am just super, super digging it. Really, really good. I mean, Reflector is one of those things that's like it's 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 one of those like products of the 80s that you're like, that's really kind of weird. But at the same time, it's still kind of cool. So. I was very excited to see them come out with this and uh, I am I'm super I'm super happy to own one. I heartily recommend this. This is 
this is a masterpiece figure. This is a Legends scale masterpiece figure. And I'll say that without any reservations. Anyhow, thanks for watching. You guys are fantastic. Everybody be awesome and or stay awesome and be good to each other. See ya.